Exploring Ruby Libraries Part 7, we are going to explore Ruby Rake, which is a popular task runner in Ruby. Rake is a make-like program implemented in Ruby, which has tasks and dependencies which are specified in standard Ruby syntax. The main goal of Rake is to, you know, run some task, example like resetting your database, running your tests and running your reports and running your server and some, you know, it's like automating your task with the simple commands. So that is what about a uh, basic thing about Rake. Don't confuse yourself with Rake and Rack. They both are completely different things. So Rake is a task runner. Rack helps Ruby servers and frameworks to work together. So let's explore more about it. Let's start with some example of codes. So this is how you install gem, install Rake. And this is a sample task. What do they say? First, you must write a Rake file, which contains the build rules. Here is a simple example. Okay. This rake file has two tasks, one name test, task, task name and do, perform some operations and will, uh, okay, a task name default, the, this task does nothing by itself, but it has exactly one dependency, namely the test, okay, this is the, okay, default, we have to mention the default test, task invoking the default task will cause rake to invoke the test task as well, okay, cool, so let's start running this one, let's copy the sample code. Let's paste it over here. So I have already added a gem rake to my gem file. I think we should do a bundle install. We should also create a rake file. Okay, let's paste the code and I have already added a gem over here, gem rake. And then I have created a rake file. So let me delete this file. Okay, now we have a inside rake folder, we have a rake file and we have also added a gem file. We need to do a bundle install let's clear this and we have a default task and a one simple test task so I think we need to change this code because we don't have a unit test RB file we just gonna put running test now let's run rake so you got it by default it's taking the test task and running it to run the default task I mean to run the test task we need to do a command called rake test so this will take this uh, task to be executed so let's try something else you know like a multiple task let's clear this task run do uh, let's do puts running Okay, this is the first task and we can add a second task. Now let's run it, rake run, this has run the first now, oh god, rake second, undefined local method or variable. Okay, I think I made a typo. Rake third. Okay, third is running. So there is also one more method to do this. That is using a namespace. Namespace rake do. And uh, this is our first task. I think uh, we need to remove this. I don't think so. I have value. So I have three different tasks, one to show the Rake version, show the Ruby version and show the Ruby platform. So by using namespace, what we can do is we can actually, you know, uh, list all the task outs, Rake-T, 
so you get all the task list by passing the parameter so in order to run the task i think we need to rake uh, rake of version i think i did a mistake Yeah, we actually have the list of tasks, but it is still throwing an error. Where did we go wrong? Should we not use the rake command? Oh, okay. I think uh, it's a keyword. I think we, need, we should not use the default rake. So since I have changed it to uh, something else, it started working my bad so that's it about this video session we're just exploring about uh, simple basics about rakes rake so basics file list you can actually go through this i'll share the link in the description please do like share and subscribe for more such videos if i have missed anything or if i have made something wrong please do post in the comment section so i can correct myself thank you peace out